to see slick roads. We have these live pictures to show you, giving you an idea of the road conditions. This is near the Eisenhower Tunnel. We've been watching the snow pile up in the median, and now you can see how much of it is starting to accumulate on the roads of I-70. In fact, one of our 7 News meteorologists, Corey Reppenhagen, he just called in. He's up there, and he says the roads are definitely getting slick. Now, the good news is we have seen some plows out there on the roads. Although tires are starting to spin out here and there, drivers, they are starting to slow down. And you can see why the road's pretty much covered in spots with snow. Right now, I-70 is closed at Vail. CDOT says eastbound lanes in that area will reopen within 30 minutes. Westbound lanes, they are closed from Georgetown out to the tunnel. And here's what it looks like downtown. The snow is starting to pick up again outside our studios within the last 30 minutes or so. And 7 News reporter Molly Henderson is out in the thick of it down south near the Park Meadows Mall. Molly? That's right. I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open because the snow is blowing directly into them. But let me show you what we're dealing with along I-25 and the Dry Creek Road area. First of all, the snow here starting to collect here on the ground. You can see, uh, you know, we've got maybe about a half inch here. But so far, I-25 looking pretty good. It's pretty clear. There is some splashback on the roads out there. Cars are slowing down, but not a lot of accumulation. Now, a little bit earlier this afternoon, we were out in the Castle Pines area. Let me show you what it looked like out there. The wind picking up. The, it was snowing pretty good out there, and some of the snow starting to accumulate on the side roads and on some of the overpasses. Now, back here live, we have seen one accident just south of where we are. It was on one of the overpasses, but it didn't look like it was anything too serious. It looked like somebody may have slid off the roadway there. So, again, we could see some icy conditions tomorrow morning for your morning commute. If you're headed out, make sure you give yourself some extra time. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Henderson, 7 News.